Welcome to the channel. I'm Danny Walker. Today I'm going to teach you how I do my natural everyday makeup that I use to film in. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Step one, pull my hair back. Okay. Actually, step one, let me rewind, should be skincare. So I wash my face in the morning with a gentle cleanser, not a particular one, but I have sensitive skin, so it's got to be pretty gentle. And then I added some Charlotte Tilbury under eye cream and then some hyaluronic acid. And then to top it off, a moisturizer. We're gonna get a little bit of this tinted hydrator, wet and wild. I know, so fancy, so fancy. Do I know that this is the wrong color? Yes, I do. Yes, I do know that. I bought this when I was much more tan. It looks like a crazy color, but once it's blended into my neck, then it matches the rest of my body. I always put sunblock on, so my face is really light. Yeah, it looks good enough. I'm gonna get a little bit of the Dior Show Foundation. This is in 2W. I learned that foundations separate. I didn't know that for years. So basically what I used to do is I would just throw some stuff on my face and I was only putting the oil part on my face, something like that. This is my kind of natural everyday thing. So what I'm doing is just covering up the parts of my skin that have more texture. I have a lot of unevenness too in my skin. So that came from years of acne. I don't even emphasize it too much under the eye because we're about to we're about to take care of that. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of this Pro Conceal concealer, and this is in the color Light Ivory. Be careful, I'm squeezing it out because sometimes it kind of pops up on me. I like to do this just to brighten things up a little bit. Before I blend this, I am preparing my Laura Mercier Translucent Brightening Powder. I'm gonna have it ready to go so we don't crease. Then I'm gonna get a little powder puff, okay? First, let's get this part. I'm gonna highlight a little bit right here. Highlight. Press it into the skin. And then I kind of drag it out a little bit underneath. For, it's very subtle, very subtle little highlight. It's kind of like a reverse contour, if you will. I'm gonna go under the eye, over the eye, to use it as basically a primer, like a eyeshadow primer. I get a little bit more, and this I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Instant Age Rewind in Fair, and I'm just, I broke it, actually. Stuff is not wanting to come out. Just for a little bit more contour, I like to just add it like this, just on the side of my nose. And I'm doing this with my fingers because I don't want any of the product to absorb. I like this part right here just to be very bright. And I don't want to lose any of the product in a sponge. Right away, grab the powder, press it under the eye so that you're preventing creasing. I just use a little bit over the lid as well. We're gonna get the, another powder. So I'm using the Derma Blend, okay? I'm using this one because Laura Mercier, pricey, all right? So I like to use the Laura Mercier because it's very, very fine and it's gonna be better for any of the fine lines around your eyes. So you, you want it to be a great, just a great powder. Now, Derma Blend also great, just not as finely, as we say, milled as the Laura Mercier. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more. And this I just do to prevent any fallout. I know it used to be really popular. I don't know if people do it anymore, baking your face, but I'm basically doing this to seal everything in and prevent fallout. I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush. This has been one of my favorite fluffy brushes ever. It's by Wet n Wild. It's probably about $3. I'm gonna use this milk chocolate shade right here, but really any soft neutral you can use. I'm gonna start on the outer corner of the eye, and I'm literally just gonna be brushing this in towards the center of my eye, blending up and out. That's why this is just quick everyday makeup. And yeah, I just wanna basically brush at this angle, like that, all the way, yeah, all the way up to the brow. If anything falls, fine, we'll take care of it. Kinda of even it out a little bit, yeah, that's it. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of champagne truffle, which is right here, it's almost gone. I'm just gonna dab that on my finger, and then I just push it up into the brow bone. Little highlight. You don't wanna drag it down too much. If you want to, you can just give it a quick brush. Just grab a soft brown pencil. I think this is probably by Wet n Wild too. Nothing 
too crazy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line the top outer corner of my eye. Do my best to kind of brush it into the, or blend it, blend it into the lash line. Pull up and out like this. Now I'm gonna get a smudge brush and I'm gonna use the color Triple Fudge right here, but it's just a matte brown, that's all it is. Get a little bit on the brush, tap it, then I am going to pack it on. And once again, I'm going from the outer corner just towards the center of the eye, so it's just at an angle. It's not straight out, but I'm just angling it, packing the color on and smudging it. Somebody welding. He's literally welding right now. Now, very simple. We're just gonna take the powder, blend it all. Brush it away. You really gotta make sure this is brushed off, guys. You really do. Because if you don't, you're gonna get some white flash back if you're around a flash. Now, as you can see, this lightened things up a little bit, so we're gonna warm it back up again. And I'm just gonna get some of the Hula bronzer. It's a pretty matte bronzer. And we're gonna start right here, the edge of the hairline. Look at that, the color is coming back. It's gonna match my neck again. My cheekbones, if I contour underneath them, it really drags down my face and it's just the natural shape of my face. So what I like to do is only put a little bit of this bronzer on the very top of my cheekbone. Then I'm just blending right here around the temple. And if I weren't doing this on camera and talking, you can do this pretty quickly. Now we're getting our Real Techniques blush brush and I am going to get some of the Butter Bronzer, which I need a refill. This is in just bronzer. That's the color, just bronzer. We're gonna blend it everywhere, including the neck. All right, all over the place. This is a very soft, product, I put it under the eye, over the eye, everywhere to prevent flashback. And then I really go kind of like very high, very under the eye, just drag it back, a quick swoop. Let's imagine that I went too dark, then I just get the bare minerals well rested. Sometimes I do this just for a little brightness anyways. And I just grab just a little bit of it. Just a little, something on there, a little bit. Real quick. I like that. Then I like to go back. I'm gonna grab my same shadow brush and I'm just kind of brushing off the excess product. The shadow I used was already so subtle. It just, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. So I just get a little bit of the butter bronzer and I'm just gonna define my nose a little bit with it. Then get a little bit of the champagne truffle. I'm just gonna run that over the bridge of my nose. We're gonna get the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Swish and Pop Blusher in Ecstasy. Oh, it's my favorite. I actually destroyed it and I put it back together again. I'm just gonna get my It Cosmetics angled brush from the little, whatever this is, apple. From the apple of my cheek, I just take it right here and I go towards the top, right underneath my eye. This has a little highlighter in it, so I really like to just emphasize right here. I'm gonna just brush out my brows. I love the NYX Brow Mascara. I like to start at the ends because the ends are lighter. Then right here in the center a little bit. If I still have other little sparse spots, I get this angled brush from IT Cosmetics and I get a little bit of the color Milk Chocolate. Then I can just fill it in very, very lightly. If you feel like anything got too dark like over here, then you can just it through. Today we're using using the Lash Sensational Luscious Hydrofuge Mascara from Maybelline. I like to double curl them because my eyelashes don't curl very well. I just emphasize the ends, that's it. So like the end, wiggle it at the bottom and then swipe up. Just the bottom lower corner. A little bit of e.l.f liquid liner just to make things a little more defined you just redarken so just do a little small swoop and I blend into the lash line a little bit it's just to re-emphasize but you can skip this step if you don't want to do it 
You can skip any of the steps if you don't want to do them. I don't even know what liner this is. Look at this. There's not even a name. So we don't know what it is, but it's a pretty neutral color. We're going to get a little bit of the matte to last, my favorite from Italia. This is in the color Flawless. Mm. That's it. Let's go do my hair. Here is the final look. Very simple, easy. I hope you like it. If you want to see more on the channel, let me know what you want to see. If you like this type of content in this episode, then I would suggest checking out this other episode, which is all about pageant interview makeup. Now that my hair is done, I am ready to film new episodes, aside from this one.